today's video we are going to work on putting the rails, the blocks, and the gantry together. Currently I'm sitting here drawing the rails which for this particular table are going to be 25 millimeter rails and I'm building this <coughs> design and drawing here so that it gives me a reference to the depths and sizes of everything that I've got to put together. The, this is where my rails are going to go where you see me place them here just a minute ago the red ones right here are these little blue blocks that I'm drawing those are actually the bearing blocks and I'll place those on the side of the rail as you can see right here as we zoom in right here in the center there's going to be two of those on each side and we're going to call this the y-axis on this machine so I'll have two here and then we're going to end up with of course two on the other side once we build our gantry upright so we just made a layer for the gantry uprights measurements to make sure we've got room for our motor and pulleys and everything that ends up on the side of this. So here's one of the uprights and these are actually half inch steel. That's what we're going to be using for our uprights. I'm going to take some of the metal out of them here. So I'm going to give them that little slight angle that we're drawing. four inches and we're going to leave basically <coughs> about 12 at the bottom before we make that turn. And this will line up on the two bearing blocks. Take and we'll copy and paste the bearing blocks in that upright. We need those on the other side as well. This gives me my depth perception on the sides here so I know what my spacing is. Make sure that we cut the steel the correct length. are lined up. This was another one of the 4x4 four four quarter inch tubes that I left to the side once I finished the table. This is actually going to be used for the gantry beams which are also going to be the same four by four by quarter material. And I've sped this video up as well to get through the monotonous slow tasks of some of this editing. four inches in between these that way we can put our ball screw in and that is our gantry thank you for viewing and keep up for future videos thank you